Hello. Um, I just got back from nowhere. I didn't just get back from anywhere. I came back from JMU this weekend, so I'm home. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna answer these questions because I'll ask some questions. All right. Oh my gosh, it's actually decent that. Okay. Oh, uh, do you like Lord? Um, not really. I don't like the music. Opinion on Miley Cyrus? I think I made it pretty clear, I guess. Um, I don't know. She's... A lot of the stuff that she's doing is just really rude and, like, just, like, acting out of ignorance. I think she's just trying to figure out what, what she wants to do, but... A lot of it's really offensive to set like to a lot of people. Um, I don't know. I I still think she's really pretty and stuff. It's just like um, not really feeling it. Um, what would you do if Harry had a sex date? I would watch it. Harry Styles is a girl on your icon. <sighs> what? <laughs> I love her so much. Um, Harry. Um, how do you think it would be like, how do you think it would be like if Harry went solo? Um, I think he would struggle a lot, just cause, I mean, I th obviously he's really popular, but like, his music might not be as popular. Um, would you rather let Harry fuck you or choke you with a stick? Um, choke me with a stick. Sorry, I have to look at my pants here. Um, hi Alia, okay, I want to know your opinion on, like, girls in 8th through ninth grade wearing a lot of eyeliner because it's kind of a situation I'm in and a lot of people comment on me wearing too much and I'm just done with it. I say do whatever you want to do. I mean, I don't know, I personally, like, I went through a makeup phase too, like, wearing a lot of makeup in middle school. I think, I wouldn't, I'm not calling it a phase, but just do what you want to do, like, don't care what other people think, and as long as they're happy, do it. Um, 69 or 420. You fools. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. How'd you react if Harry asked you out or something like that? Um, I'd probably be in shock, but I'd probably say yes. Um, hello, oh, the Melissa. Hello, for the video, tell us your favorite family vacation and why. Yay, smiley face. I love you. Um, my favorite family vacation, I think, was, oh, gosh. I think it was last year when we went, like, all over the West Coast, like, um, we went to California, we stayed there for my cousin's bar mitzvah, and then we stayed for a couple days. I didn't get to go to San Diego like I wanted to, but California is just beautiful in general. And then we went to, where did we go from there? Crap. I think we just went straight to Oregon, but we took a train there. That fucking train lost my luggage. I was without luggage. I think... You guys probably heard me complaining about it, or whoever was following me last year, like, it was a very, <laughs> I had to go to, like, Marshalls and get as many clothes as I could for the rest of the trip, because it was going to be a long trip, like, we, we were out for, like, two weeks, and I didn't have anything, I didn't have my medicine, my ADD medicine, I had nothing, toothbrush, nothing, but, um, yeah, that was a very traumatic experience for me. But Oregon was amazing, and it was so pretty. And then we went down to, um, I feel like I'm skipping some states we went to. We went to Montana, and we went to wherever we went. I don't remember, but we saw um, Yellowstone Park, which was amazing. And it was just a really fun family time. Like I spent a lot of time with my family, which I don't usually do I usually like isolate myself in my room and stuff so I had no other choice but to be with them which is weird at first but it was nice being with my family it made me appreciate them way more so yes that's my favorite vacation um oh wait oh my gosh 
Okay, besides vacation, like, um, my sophomore year, I went to France for spring break. I think that's actually my favorite. <laughs> Sorry, I just went through that whole spiel, but France was amazing. Nice, France is incredible. So if you ever want to go there, go there. Um, Phineas or Ferb? Oh, crap, I forget which one's which. Oh, okay. Ferb, I think. Ferb. Ferb. Um, what's your icon? I don't think this was for the video. But my icon's the little girl. <laughs> it's a vine where some woman, I don't know if it's her mom or not, but she says, pss, 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 and then this little girl turns around. She says, what? <laughs> it's the cutest thing in the world. She's so cute. Hold on, I have to watch it real quick. I'm sorry. Anytime anyone brings up the video, I have to watch it. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Where is it? Sorry, I I'm also recording this right after watching um Ariel's videos. <laughs> Where she tries to chop a thing with paper. And so I asked her to like do it cut in the little square at the top and she did it and then her reaction was perfect. But anyways, here you go. So I'm a little giddy. Oh wait. Turn that off. Okay. Oh wait, I didn't mean to click it again. <laughs> so cute. All right. Um, do the video quick. Okay, I am doing the video. Um, favorite and least favorite food. Um, favorite. I've actually been really, really obsessed with edamame, which is. It used pizza used to be my favorite, but now edamame is my favorite. It's like, I don't know if any of you have had it. I know some people have, but um, it's like soybeans still inside the pod, and you can, like, sprinkle salt on it if you want, and you just pop them in your mouth, and they're so good. Um, least favorite food? Probably. I'm not a very picky eater. Oh, oxtail. My dad likes oxtail for some reason. Like, no, I don't like oxtail. Which is stupid because I haven't had it yet, so I'm just being, I'm just being a little shit. I should probably try it. I just don't like the idea of it. Which I, I'm stupid, idiotic, whatever. Um, question for the video. Hi, Bridget. What's up, girl? Um, who is your best friend that isn't Rosie or Franny? Moi, ha, 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 ha. Um, girl. You. Um, okay. Uh, Brielle! I have a question. Wait, I have video questions. Okay, one, what are your top three favorite foods? Edamame, mashed potatoes, and oh, sushi. Yes? I'm doing a question video. It's gonna be over really quick. Yes, Mama. Well, it's already we're missing out already. No, dude, it's okay, it's mommy. Yeah. Why are you eating my sweet corn or whatever that is? Are you punishing me? Okay, I I will be out there and I will. <laughs> um, did I answer my third favorite? Yeah, sushi. Um, do you prefer Pringles or regular chips? What do you mean by regular chips, like Lay's or tortilla chips? Because tortilla chips are really good if you have good ones, so I guess Pringles. I haven't had Pringles in a very long time, though. Regular chips, I guess. I'm boring. Um, what is your favorite kind of chips? I like the salsa, fla whatever that flavor is for um, sun chips. It's really good, besides the cheddar flavor. Um, for what is one thing you want to do before you die? Um, I really want to skydive. Like, I know that's really cliche, but I feel like it would be an awesome experience. What makes you happiest? 
Uh, doo -doo -doo. I really like watching movies, which is lame, but movies make me really happy. Like, just going to the movies, too, makes me really happy. But I think what makes me happiest is my music. I'm sorry, that sounds cliche, too, but whenever I have... Because I don't have a lot of private space to sing and play guitar at school, which is really frustrating, so I've been kind of in a funk for a while. Um, and I'm just waiting to when I can actually, like, just sit for hours and just play guitar and sing, so... That's what makes me happiest, and writing music too. Um, six, I don't know, this isn't a question, I just really love, it. love you and you're beautiful. Oh, I love you, thank you. You're beautiful too, in case you didn't know, so I love you. <laughs> um, your icon on crying, also I miss, oh wait, that's not a question. Oh, I have to respond to you, I'm sorry babe. I'll respond to you, I'm sorry. <laughs> um... Smile for reasons. I don't know why I didn't give... Okay. The people that asked me off and on were Melissa, Boo, it's Nyler, um, Bridget, Dash, he was their friend, Brielle, Harry's Spooky, sh Harry's spooky Shoulders, that's the cute little one I did, and then now Smile for Reasons. Um, what is one meal you could eat for the rest of your life? Ooh. One meal? I'd probably say pizza. Because you could, like, you could put vegetables on it, or you could put, like, anything on it. Oh, wait, but, like, a full meal, like, a full course? Ooh. Oh, my God. Probably. Ooh, I don't know. That's a really difficult question. I'm really excited. Can I come back to that? I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, what are, what are top three songs you can ultimately, wait, you can ultimately listen to that just make you so happy or want to dance? Oh my gosh, right now it's Piano by Ariana Grande, and, hold on, I have a playlist for this, workouts, um, it used to be the Get Lucky slash Suit and Tie remix, whatever, but kind of getting old for me now. I don't know, piano is basically the main one that makes me want to dance now. I don't really have three. Let's see. Come on. I have to have three. I'm really bad at being put on the spot. I'm sorry. Like, I'd know these answers besides the, this moment. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so lame. I'm sorry. Yeah, but Piano by Ariana Grande is awesome. Oh, um, I Want to Dance with Somebody by Whitney Houston. And... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Those are two. Take it or leave it. Um, you... If you could create a pocket-sized animal of your choice, what would it be? An elephant. Okay, an elephant. I'm sorry I'm so lame, but I just want to send you something. You're a cutie. Okay, bye. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> you're cute. Um. Oh my gosh, I love those damn messages again. Hey, I found a way to get a lot of followers and make your blog super popular. For some reason, it won't let me put links in this message, but here you go. You put a damn link in the message. You did it, so... Um, wait, I have a question. Can you sing a tiny cover of I Will Always Love You? Like, just three seconds of it. Oh my gosh, why would you... <clears throat> I would... Oh god, sorry. I get really... So the thing is, like, I can record a video ahead of time. Like, I have to prepare myself to do it. This is... If I want to get anywhere in life, I should do it. Okay, just give me... Oh, it's part do I want to do? Three seconds. I'm going to do the beginning. <coughs> Sorry, I'm getting really hyped up. And I, I will always love you. I will always. That was the end. I don't know what that was. That was hideous. Don't make me ever do that again. Um, I hope you...
No. <laughs> now I want to start over the video because that was horrible. Just whatever. Okay. There are a lot of questions in this one message. Favorite Jolly Rancher flavor? Watermelon. Favorite hoodie? It's an Outer Banks hoodie. It's gray. I think I posted a picture with me in it before, so if, whatever. Um, longest you've gone without showering? Three days. Trifling, but it happens. Justin Bieber song that you like? Um, Love me like you do. It's like, love me like you do. Um, memory from your childhood? I almost fell off the Grand Canyon. So that was fun. Favorite teacher you've had? Um, my first grade teacher at Bowie Montessori School. Yeah, I used to live in PG County in Maryland, so. Um, yeah, she was awesome. I forget, or no, Miss Lingerman. She was bomb. Um, favorite holiday? Halloween. Or Thanksgiving? Halloween. Halloween. Um, how did you decorate your dorm? I have pictures of it up. I don't, I'm not in my dorm, so I can't um, show you, but I have pictures of it up, so. If you search my tag college, you'll probably be able to, you, you'll be able to find it in there. Um, favorite meal cooked by your mom? My mom doesn't really cook, to be honest. My dad's the one who cooks. Um, but she has this casserole. That's really good. I'll say my favorite meal by my dad. Or, you know what? I don't even know. My parents don't really cook that much, to be honest. But when we go to my dad's side of the family reunion, like, my dad's side's family reunions are, the food is amazing. And I think I've told you guys before, but they always, like, leave watermelons aside for me. Like, multiple watermelons, because I like watermelons. <laughs> um, cookies or cupcakes? Probably co cookies. Uh, cupcakes? Cookies. Want to have kids? Yes. Favorite beverage? I think tea, like iced tea. Um, best Mario game? Oh, I really, I used to really like Mario Party. Like my, I, I just liked it a lot because my, um, some family friends and me and my brother used to always play it together. So I think that's my favorite. Um, have any scars? Yes, I have. Well, okay. I have three main scars. I have one on my elbow. Sorry, they might be crusty. Um, I don't know if you can see the crust. Anyways, I have one on my elbow from when I, this happened back in Blue Montessori School. I was sitting on a bench, and one of those, one of the people came over, and they accidentally, like, I don't know, if, yeah, they, it was an adult. They accidentally pushed me off the bench, like, scooched me too far. And I fell off, got some rocks in my arm, and my dad, being a nurse that he is, he came to my school, he, like, plucked all the rocks out, then I had to go get stitches. So, yeah. Then I have another one. I have one on my eye, my eyebrow. Um, <laughs> so stupid. Um... I don't actually remember how it happened because the only thing I remember is waking up with my mo in my mom's arms and my dad like fixing up what happened. But apparently, I fell and hit my um, my eye on the corner of my bedside table, and well, right here on the side of my bedside table, and apparently it knocked me out. Like I was already sleeping, but it knocked me out because whatever. And then I actually have two scars on my wrist um one time I was like knocking too hard in the window or like we have do we, the door to our backyard has like nine mini windows in it and I was knocking on one of them to get uh, my mom's attention I think and I knocked too hard and like basically like punched through the window got sliced on my wrist then the other one was um, my brother and I were fighting and he grabbed my wrist and, like, smacked it, and it went through the window again, the same window, coincidentally, or whatever, so, yeah, I have two wrists, or two, I do have two wrists, I have two scars on this wrist, and a lot of people mistake it for, like, cutting, but it's just that, and I think I have some other scars, too, because I used to, like, be, like, a real tomboy when I was little, but a lot, I don't have stories for a lot of the scars, I think one of them my brother and I climbed up on top of the roof of our old school um, 
and I got like sliced by the fence on my leg. Other ones are just from like climbing trees, like silly kid stuff. Um, where's your birthmark? I have two on my stomach. I have two on my stomach, yeah. Um, hardest class you're taking? Um, probably my history class because it's really tedious and demanding. It's a lot of reading and writing, but it's college, so, and history, which sucks. Um, your ideal weather, oh my gosh, I just like, it's really weird, I really love cold weather because I'm a hot body, so I get hot really easily, and I just love bundling up, and like, I usually keep my room pretty cold too, but I, I like being in a little cocoon when I'm sleeping, so I just like cold weather, and I love the snow, but the thing that I hate is when it's like freezing cold outside in the winter, like negative 20 degrees, and it's not snowing outside, like if it's just cold and there's no snow, I hate that. So, it's weird. I think fall is a good middle. But right now, it's freaking 90 degrees outside in October. So, I'm upset about it. Um, favorite nut? Favorite nut? I didn't really put much thought to this. I think almond. I really like almonds. Carpet or tile? Carpet. Sounds you hate and sounds you love? Sounds I hate... Oh my gosh, when people are chewing too loud, please don't. When people crack their neck, like in front of me, or their back, I just hate that sound. Or when they crack their fingers, I don't like it. Oh, I'm sorry, I just really don't like it. Um, sounds I love. Um, I have a lot of sounds that I love. I really like the sound of my fan. I always have my fan on high one of my favorite sounds and I love Ooh, we have like tree frogs outside it's really it's a really pretty sound they usually chirp at night or not chirp whatever their sound is ribbit I don't know um I just love being outside like the sounds at night are my favorite sounds I think so I know that sounds really lame but yeah um What's your favorite and least favorite part of yourself? Um, do you mean physically? Because physically, okay, my favorite part of myself, I like my eyes. So, and a lot of people ask me like if I pluck or wax my eyebrows, but I don't. So I was like blessed with, you know, decent eyebrows, but they're really thin. I don't like how thin they are. But I like my eyes, just this part. <laughs> um, and I like, yeah, I like my eyes. And my least favorite part of myself? Between my nose and um, my stomach. One of the two. I think my nose, probably. I hate my nose. Um, it turns you on creatively, spiritually, or emotionally? Ooh, that's an interesting question. Um, I don't know how to answer that. I'm probably, I'm probably really gonna over, I think I'm already overthinking this question. Creatively, spiritually, or emotionally? I want to say music, but... Harry. So, yeah, I guess that works. I think that's all the questions. I didn't get a lot of, like, um, off and on questions, but thank you to everyone who asked me questions. I'm sorry. I keep playing with my hair. I'm really sorry. Um, yeah. So that is the question video. That is 24 minutes long. I'm so sorry. Okay. Bye. I love you all. Peace.